Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Simple Trading Style channel. And today we are going to talk about daily stock market update. We will do updates for the uh, major uh, indexes, dollar and volatility indexes also. Uh, let's let's do review and let's see is it bearish or bullish? What's going on with the stock market? Okay, it works for uh, stocks, ETFs, options on crypto. I do publish also updates for cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel to get all my updates. Telegram and Discord community to get all charts. And click like button. Thank you so much. Let's move to, to Vbull. If you want to learn more about Vbull setup, also yeah, click uh, link in the description. Okay, let's start. Looks like major indexes. It was kind of red day and it was kind of recovery during the day it was kind of positive right and it came back to negative okay let's do review let's do review and see what's going on let's start from dollar on daily let's do dollar on daily dollar on daily flat dollar on daily flat let's see it sits on the uh, for last six days for last uh, six days it sits at the ma200 looks like it wants to bounce from a200 right it's kind of changing direction from from the 200 it has some bullish divergences bullish signals no final crossover but wants to change direction to bullish at least to connect to ma20 the disconnected from a20 on daily <coughs> right no final confirmation yet but no bullish confirmation yet but still um, it's trying to change direction four hours four hours uh, similar story it's kind of bullish right it's bullish and uh, it, it's building bullish divergences on all indicators the last bar about the may 5 10 and 20 it's a bullish <coughs> bullish signal wants to go bullish bullish divergences one hour one hour let's see <coughs> one hour it's a bearish right it was bullish bullish and it changed direction to bearish at two o'clock change direction to bearish so far it's bearish on one hour okay bearish bullish dollar is a bearish indexes right that's what we have let's move to daily apple daily apple still bullish it was kind of uh still bullish bullish crossover on all indicators it was kind of gap down and it did recover on daily still bullish it touched the may 20 and bounce from may 20. let's move to four hours four hours four hours it's ready to change direction may 5 just ready to do bearish crossover bearish crossover like I mentioned before, it, it wants to correct connect to MA20. It's far from MA20. It did touch the MA200, the bounce from it, and it wants to go. It wants to connect to MA20. Still bullish signal. Still bullish signal. Uh, also, also later change to red. Still bullish signal. But I think it's at the end of the day, it wants to close this gap below. It wants to close the gap below. We'll see. Let's see one hour. One hour. It's it's yeah. It was bearish. It was bearish, right? It was huge gap up in the morning, and it was moved down. And not not in the morning. Yeah, it was yeah. It was gap up move down huge move down huge volatility right and moved up looks like it wants to go up yeah after hours it, it, it moved up right it wants to go up on one hour let's move to q's q 
Qs daily. Qs daily. Still bullish. Still bullish. Four hours. It's changing direction to bearish, right? It's, it's already it's already did bearish crossover over MA10. Ready for bearish. Very ready for for bearish signal. Also, also later already did bearish signal. MA5 did already bearish crossover. My MACD is ready for it on RSI. Okay, daily bullish, four hours bearish. And one hour, one hour is bearish. One hour is bearish, no so later it's green. Okay, it touched my 5, 50, I'm sorry, my 50. And it looks like it's bounced from my 50. Okay, let me tell you the amount, yeah, my about my moving averages uh, setup MA200 it's uh, white purple it's MA100 blue MA50 yellow MA20 right and, and red MA10 and green MA5 uh, okay <clears throat> it was far from MA20 it did move up it's trying to connect right but the goal is, I think, the goal is of this change. You see, my 20 is changing direction to curling. It wants to close this gap. It wants to close this gap, I believe. Okay. Um, bearish on one hour. Bearish on four hours. And bullish on daily. Still bullish on daily, right? On Qs. Let's move to VXN volatility index for uh, for Qs. Daily still bearish. It wants to change direction to bullish. Four hours. It 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 is bullish, building bullish divergence on all indicators. And one hour. It, it was bullish and just recently changed to bearish. Recently changed to bearish on one hour. Let's move to SPY, SPY daily, SPY daily is still bullish, it bounced from 200, it didn't close this gap, looks like it wants to close this gap below and maybe move up, May 20 is uptrend, May 20 is uptrend, let's follow it. It looks like it wants to reconnect at least with 20, right? It was far from my 20, now it wants to reconnect back to my 20. Similar like here, it was far from my 20, it did reconnect back to my 20. Same situation here now. Daily still bullish, 4 hours. 4 hours it's a bearish. My MACD did bearish crossover, RSI bearish crossover, awesome slater bearish crossover. Bearish signal and MA5 did bearish crossover. MA5 did bearish crossover and the last bar below MA5 and 10. And it touched MA200. MA200 bounce from it. I like this MA20. It's uptrend. It's, it's bullish. It's bullish. Interesting. Interesting case. Bullish. Like here, right? It did move very fast down. But MA20 was up and it did move up. We'll see how it works. Still bearish signal on 4 hours. Bullish on daily, bearish signal on, on 4 hours and bearish signal on 1 hour. Bearish signal on 1 hour. Okay, let's move to VIX. VIX daily. Volatility index for SPY. Volatility index for SPY daily wants to do bullish cross bullish divergences on all indicators and it wants to change direction to bullish. It wants to change a uh, signal to bullish. 
And my 20 is still bearish. My 20 just did bearish crossover. But MACD wants to go bullish. It wants to go bullish. It bearish for SPY, right? 4 hours. 4 hours it's already bullish. It's a bearish for SPY. 1 hour. It's still bearish. One hour is still bearish. Okay, well. It's a bullish for spy. Let's move to Dow. Dow Jones. Dow Jones. Dow Jones daily. Still bullish. It has bearish divergences on all indicators. Osmos letter has red line. Red signal. It's building, it's building bearish case. It wants to go bearish. It wants to go bearish. And it touched my 5. I'm sorry, it did touch the my 10. It touched the my 10. It's disconnected from my 20. My 20 did bullish crossover. It's a bullish. It's a bullish signal. We'll see. It wants to change to bearish, but still bullish. Four hours. For hours, different story, it's already bearish, right? It's already bearish, already bearish signal on all indicators, bearish divergences, and it wants to close this gap. It wants to close this gap for four dollars. Four dollars gap. Okay, let's move to four hours. I'm sorry, one hour. We just did. One hour, it's kind of, uh, it was bearish, it was bearish, it's still bearish, but it wants to change direction to bullish, maybe. Still below my 20. Definitely wants to close this gap. On daily. On one hour, <coughs> yeah, on one hour it's still bearish. Let's do... Let's do VXD, volatility index for Dow, on daily, on daily it's still bearish, it's bullish for Dow, on 4 hours, on 4 hours still bearish also, it wants to change direction to bullish, it's kind of MA20 wants to do bearish crossover, on daily, it wants to my 20 wants to do bearish crossover also. It's a bearish trend. It's weird. Weird because like... Okay, but we, let's do... We will talk about this during the summary. Okay, bearish crossover. It wants to go bearish. On one hour, it's a bullish for Dow, right? On one hour. Let's move to... IWM. AWIWM Russell 2000 Russell 2000 on daily Russell 2000 on daily still uh, yes it's it, it is bullish it has bearish divergences on all indicators and it's already preparing it's ready for a uh, bearish signal bearish signal on all indicators and it did, it was above May 200, it was huge drop, and it's below May 200, it did gap down, and it has, it, yeah, it's building bearish divergences, and it has bearish divergences and building a uh, way down. It's a low, low volume, uh, low volume, it's not low, but average volume, not so high, but it's average for hours. For hours. It's already bearish. Bearish confirmation on all indicators. MA5 did bearish crossover, right? Bearish. It touched MA20. MA20. Yeah, MA5 did bearish crossover. MA20 touched. Like I mentioned here, we were far, very far from MA20. And it definitely it wants to connect back to MA20. And it did connect MA20. Now, let's see. Maybe it will bounce from MA20 or... I, I feel it will go and close this gap. Maybe then then it will bounce. It wants to close the gap. 
Okay, let's do summary. Let's do summary, right? All all indi uh, all indexes uh, indexes were indexes were red today, and volatility indexes were red today too. For VX VXN for uh, Qs were red, VIX was red, uh, VXD was red. It's it's not expected. It means investors. Invest, invest, investors, uh, they are not ready for uh, for crash. They are not ready for bearish bearish uh, market. They still believe the market uh, will go up. That's what we have so far. And the uh, the direction on daily it's still bullish, but it's changing direction because the daily it has bearish divergences, has bearish divergences, and it's changing direction from bullish to bearish. And uh, let's see, and on four hours it's already changed direction from bullish to bearish. That's kind of mixed mode, right? Daily still bullish uh, and changing direction to bearish. Four hours already changed direction to bearish. And one hour it's kind of short term bullish. It's kind of fighting, fighting between bearish and bullish. Bullish and bearish, they're, they're fighting in this position on all indexes. They're fighting for, on, for all indexes, right? But the, the 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 trend is still market general trend is bearish, right? It's bearish because I'm MA two hundred still bearish, and it it changing direction to bearish. That's why um, four hours is already bearish and daily still bullish with the with kind of bearish direction. But one hour is kind of short term. It's trying trying to bounce and be nice. <laughs> But a change in direction to bearish. If you have a bullish position, keep tight, stop tight, or close the bullish position and change to bearish direction, or at least close bull, close, take a profit, close bullish position, and uh, just stay on the side and wait for the bearish to come. It's a bearish. It's changing direction to bearish. That's what my opinion. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. If you like this. The simple trading style just go to the go to the direction and, and description i'm sorry to the description and uh, there are links about to about my all my all my videos all my trainings you can uh you can go and learn it go and learn it and let's let's go to disclaimer i'm not in, a financial advisor this video is for educational informational purposes only and uh, thank you for watching simple trading style video and it for yeah i do publish also videos for cryptos and other videos please subscribe for youtube channel and you will get updates daily and i do also publish uh, charts to telegram and discord community click like button thank you so much and good luck bye now